Hey y'all, it's K Cash. And I'm coming to do a review for the movie Hunk for Jesus Save Your Soul. Um this weekend um I watched a couple of movies. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna review some more movies or whatever. Um my Labor Day weekend. Um what did I do? Um I just I tried to stay home. That's one thing I tried. I tried to stay home. And I did. And I got a chance to watch a couple of movies and, you know, relax a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, clear my mind some. You know, I had a lot on my mind. And um, I had a good time. I feel refreshed and uh, renewed, you know. And um, anyway. Hunk for Jesus. Hunk for Jesus starred Regina Hall and Sterling Brown. Now, I was seeing the previews for it, and I was like, okay, that might be something I want to watch. I don't know what it's about. But me watching it, it is about this pastor, Lee. I wrote some notes down. His name is Lee Curtis Childs, and his wife's name is Trinity. And what they're going to be doing is um, they're going to have a reality show uh, to try to change, to try to show them in a good light because the pastor was a, had some allegations against him. So they didn't say what the allegations were, but, you know, and I was a little confused, you know, and, and it's based on a church in Atlanta and uh, they filmed it in Atlanta. I saw some places that looked familiar, but um, it was very funny. To me, it was funny. I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed the fact that Regina Hall, she, I loved it because it showed like how a black woman can be put, you know, so it's so many times that we're put, you know, negatively and, you know, they're saying that we don't support our men and we don't do that, but we are some hell of a supporters. We, we support you when you think we're not supporting you. So it really showed how she was just standing behind him no matter what. Now we really, we can kind of get a glimpse of how she really felt on the inside, but pretty much she was just, you know, down for him, you know, down for him, you know, um, right there by his side. And you could tell there was a lot of love there. I could really tell it was a lot of love. And what I couldn't tell was, they didn't give a reason why, you know, we kind of seen some scenes where he was really nice to some men. And I think I was telling somebody like, okay, I don't know if he did have sex with somebody or if he was really nice and they accused him of having sex with somebody, but he was nice. And then they took advantage of him and then they were like, we can get some more money out of him. Or maybe he came off the, I don't know, but you know, they settled the case. Um, the guy, it was a guy in the movie when they were outside promoting for the church. Because the thing is, all the members went to the new church, which I can't think of the new church. But the new church, you know, they had been up and running. So they had their members. And so they were going to end up opening, doing like a re-grant opening on Easter. But the other church was going to be opening on Easter. They even went to the pastor's. Um, the pastor and his wife, and she's the pastor as well, to ask if they would move their date. Really? You know, and, you know, hey, they didn't move it. So what did the childs come up with? They said, we're going to open ours a day early. And that's what they did. They did it a day early, and I don't think nobody came. Now, the ending of the movie, that's the part that got me. I, I, I watched the movie, like, twice. And I still didn't get the ending of it. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me. It's kind of like the writers got lazy and just said, fuck it. I, I don't I don't, I don't, don't know. But I, re I know there's some people out there mad. You know, um, if you can't laugh at yourself, hey, you just need to laugh at yourself. Sometimes, if, if you're mad, if you're really mad, that means you might be a little guilty about something. Or, you know, I don't think they took nothing out of proportion. I mean, hey, it is what it is. 
you know, like I said, but Regina Hall, I went on Twitter and, you know, she did a superb. What's going on? She did a superb job. Like, this is her year. This is her year. This is her time. Just this past weekend, I saw two movies with her in them. Didn't even realize until I was like on Twitter. And I was like, damn, yeah, she was in two movies. So, you know, that was pretty good. Um, let me see. What was the most funniest part? Oh, the most funniest part of the movie was when... Um, he was getting baptized and they had that little simple argument <laughs> about how to say amen and amen and you know i you know that's kind of what relationships kind of go through you know somebody want to be hip and somebody don't give a damn they want to be themselves and um so they were in the car and the song knuck if you book came on and you know he was showing he's real you know what i'm saying and he was just rapping the song and then um Trinity's part came in. Yeah, we knocking and bucking and ready to fight. I just thought it was, you know, that was a nice little scene of the movie. That was like one of my favorite scenes of the movie. Um, besides the scene of them when the um, when the cameras first came and they were showing, talking about how you know how much how extravagant their lifestyle is and how they have Prada this and Prada that and he got Prada suits and Prada this and and you know just. <laughs> You know, God is good all the time. You know, praise him, praise him. <laughs> you know, we do that every day. You have to be thankful for what you have no matter what it is. So, anyway, um, I also learned that it was a short film in 2018. Because I saw another, like, poster for it. But And I like the meme scene when they did the little meme. He told his wife that, you know, try to get people in and do the little meme scene. But other than that, like... I would say, you know, don't try to be too serious with it. You know, um, it's funny, though. It's really funny. And it does shed a light on something, you know, that's going on in the, in the community, black community or whatever community y'all wanted to be in. So um, that's basically all I have for it. You know, um, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.